not even on uh, across the prairie on top? No, no. Really? Wow. That's strange because that run the same elevation as up here where we have snow, but Or 
you, uh... I'm not by the Yeah, that's the road. They still live in that same house up there? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. How many dogs do they got now? Uh, three. Huh? Oh, right, they got a little puppy. Yeah, I'll get a picture of it. Oh. Yeah, the miniature Oh. Yeah. Is it that Bella? Yeah. Lucy? And Lucy, yeah.
Elvis. Thank you for participating. And you're not watching the home shopping network. Now, uh, a shorty coils third, Bruins up 2 nothing. Jake DeBrus, block shot on a breakaway, scores. His third, it's 3 nothing. You know what it was at the cafe tonight? What? Monster night! David Pasternak. Seventh of the season, Bruins up 4 nothing. but here come the Blue Jackets. Not really. Patrick Line dangles around the brush, shoots, he's denied by Omar. You know who said his nickname was Dangles? Justin Bieber told me that. Really? And I said you're 17. He's running it with the beat. Four nothing. Long time ago. <laughs> Long time ago. He was 17 and I was much older. Right. Bruins, eight wins, the most through the first nine games of the season. It's the fourth time in team history Boston reached eight wins by the end of October. The previous three times they finished the season with the top three ranking in the NHL standings for the regular season. Our reach Ruling the game is brought to you by Burger King. Reward yourself with a famous fling room whopper. Only at Burger King. You rule. Game one in Houston. Astros a big favorite to win the series. They had Justin Verlander going, but his World Series numbers not what you might think. The Phillies went with Aaron Nola. Bottom second, no outs, no one on Kyle Tucker. King Tucker. 30 home runs in the regular season. He saw the bat throw off Nola, who's the last pitcher to beat the Astros. First career home run in 12 World Series games for Tucker. You can see wears no gloves. He is old school. Let's go third inning. Lead off double by Pena. They walk. Bregman, they got two on, and here's Tucker. Uh, Nola again and again. There it goes. The, the 2015 draft, the yeah. first five picks, the Astros got Bregman and Tucker. Uh, that's not bad. Tucker, the first Astros player to have a multi home run game in the World Series. It's 5 nothing. It's over. It's over. Justin Berlander. Remember, I mentioned the mention. 0 for 6, 568 ERA. All right, but he hasn't got a lot. He hasn't got a big lead. He's up 5 nothing. All right, you retired the first 10. Then Hoskins got a hit. Then Harper got a hit. Then Cassiano's got a hit. To make it 5 1. Then Alex Ball, first pitch swing and double. I mean, they've worked Verlander in the fourth and the fifth. Two score, 5 0. It's now 5 3. Let's go to the fifth inning. Lead off double and a walk. You got runners in first and second. One out. JT Real Muto. That's damage. All the way to the left center wall. Two more score. Real Muto is tied in at five. Verlander struggles. Continues. Seventh inning. And Bray loaded the bases. Dusty says you got to go. I'm bringing in Neris. Neris is a former Phil. He's got Castellano swinging at the 2 2 pitch. Oh, that's ball three. Harris is fired up, getting one against his old mate. Ninth inning, bottom side, two outs. Jose Altuve. Yeah, we know. Blue Marino. Look at he thought that was nothing, but it found something, and something's all you need. Billy can't make the catch. He stole second on a super close play to Edward Reveal. All right, that brings Jeremy Pena. He's so good. Young outfielder plays plays Carlos Correa. Schwarber, same something. Pena. Shallow right. Cassianos. Not necessarily known for his blood, but don't tell the Atlanta Braves that. Don't tell the Houston Astros that. And don't tell Dominguez that. Because Cassianos has just saved the game. Because now two big scores if that ball drops. Wow. Top of the ten. Ramuto, we not. It's Luis Garcia. Bartender! Jack. Look at Kyle Tucker, two home runs, but he'd love to be able to pull that one back. He can't. 1975, the last catcher to hit an extra innings World Series home run is in this call. 6-5, your score. All right, we we'll go. Bottom 10, Dave Robertson. He got uh, Alvarez to strike out. He got Tucker to strike out. He has, uh, Robertson throws a wide pitch. He got two on. And all we're thinking about is extra, extra. He has. Ahead of the count, round to the third, top corner. The play is made. The Phillies win the game. Six five to five. The Phillies were 0 and 11 when trailing by five runs in a postseason game, but not anymore. The Astros were 29 and 0 and leading by five or more. The Phillies is with 16 to overcome a five run deficit to win a World Series game, and the first of the Angels against the Giants in Game Six of the 0-2 World Series. Dusty Baker was the manager of the Giants at that time. Here's Kyle Schwarber afterwards. No, 
style and tense game one. What was that like? It was fantastic. You know, we knew what we were in for. It's a good team over there. It's a great team over there. And, uh, well, we, we just kind of had this mentality throughout this whole year that we got to play all uh, 27 outs. You know, now it's uh, 30 outs tonight. But, uh, you know, we just got to play until the game's over and we'll see where we're at. Tell me what you saw in JT's ball as the head sort of right field. What you were thinking? Wow, that was a heck of a swing. I mean, together and you have a scrappy team that does play through that last out. They got the big hits. They did it on the road. And something that shines is their defense. They didn't make any mistakes, which has been a challenge for them a lot of the season. So you come back against a guy like Justin Verlander, you gain confidence. And that's something that they built on. And they knew if they just got an opportunity to get the lead, they could close the game out. And they did just that. Well, that whole Philly's resilience thing is moot. If Verlander does his job, what happened to Verlander? Well, it looked like early on he established the fastball up in the zone, and that was working pretty well. He saw it blow Bryce Harper away. He saw his ability to get that carry and work the top of the zone. That, that next inning, when the fourth thing started to fall apart, started going to the slider a little slower, and it's almost like you're slowing down so that they catch up to you. And that, you know, that can cost you any time you're trying to work in and out of the zone with secondary pitches like a slider or a curveball. So he started to get those elevated and the Philly Tutters didn't miss it. So. The Angel was blowing a big lead. Let's see what he has to say about this one as the Phillies shot the Atlas. What did you like about the matchup using Garcia to start the tenth there over Stanek? Well, I mean, uh, our matchup sheet had, uh, you know, Garcia, you know, over Stanek and also, you know, give us some lead. I mean, he had a good pitch, you know, a fastball away in the short porch. And, uh, you know, that was a deciding run, but we had the 20 runs at the long base to end the game. Um, you know, we had a pretty good lead early. And uh, it was easy to say that the Stanek could give it up. He didn't use Stanek, so it didn't work. What do you think changed with Verlander after that? I mean, he was dominant those first three innings. What do you think changed at, uh, starting that fourth inning? Well, you know, like he, uh, you know, he makes some mistakes with his breaking ball. He's almost every pitch they hit, you know, was a, you know, was a breaking ball. And uh, you know, he couldn't get the breaking ball down. That's a change. You know, I mean, sometimes you change your game plan. can't keep going. It's the same guy at the same way out of time. And, uh, you know, you know that's rare for him not to, you know, not to make those pitches. The Brooklyn Nets responded Friday to a tweet and Instagram post that Kyrie Irving posted to his accounts on Thursday. In them, Irving draws attention to a movie based on the book Hebrews to Negroes, Wake Up Black America. In the book, the author claims that many high-ranking Jews have admitted to worshiping Satan or Lucifer. The book also contains other anti-Semitic tropes along with stories that have been debunked. Nets owner Joe Sy posted a statement on Twitter to respond. 
Pettis said, I'm disappointed that Kyrie appears to support a film based on a book full of anti-Semitic uh, disinformation. I want to sit down and make sure he understands this is hurtful to all of us. And as a man of faith, it is wrong to promote hate based on race, ethnicity, or religion. Hey, coming up, we're going to hear from the former world champion, Vasily Lomachenko, as he prepares for a return to the boxing ring after fighting for Ukraine in its war against Russia. Meantime, day 27, uh, day two rather, 27 straight days of football. Let's check out East Carolina on the road against BYU in Provo. Pick it up. Chase Roberts with a two-yard touchdown. BYU at 24-17. Still in the third. ECU's got second goal to BYU four. Halton Islands takes it in the sun. Second rushing touchdown of the game. 24 feet to go to the fourth. Still tied. Fourth and two for BYU. Miles Davis. Not going to like it. Up by the ECU defense. He's also stopped on fourth and one. So BYU defense getting the offense is back after a BYU punt. 46 seconds remaining. Fourth and eight to the BYU 37. So Isaiah Winstead incomplete, but pass interference to the drive alive. Post down for East Carolina. Two seconds left. Andrew Conrad, 33 yard field goal for the win. And he got it. It was low, but it was good. And each of you wins the 27 24. So let's check out Saturday's action. At noon, Ohio State faces Penn State. Buckeyes have won five straight over the Nittany Lions. Other ranked matchup, Oklahoma State faces Kansas State and Manhattan. The third ranked Tennessee host, 19th ranked Kentucky at 7 Eastern on ESPN. There were some 70,000 football fans singing happy birthday to Vince Dooley back in September when Georgia kicked off its season. There are far more folks mourning Dooley's death Friday. The Georgia legend, despite being born in Alabama and playing football at Auburn, Dooley became the Bulldogs coach in 1964, won his first of six SEC titles in 1966. In 1980, Georgia beat Notre Dame and was crowned national champion. He coached Georgia football through the 1988 season. Director for 25 years. Vince Dooley pretty much. Vince Dooley died with his family by his side on Friday. He was 90. Smell the shoes to get us there. Now, experience the feeling of virtual weightlessness with zero gravity for men from Copperfit. Feel like you're walking on air in a stylish shoe that wears like a sneaker. The ultimate design of look and comfort with a gravity defying midsole for maximum impact absorption and a high velocity energy return for a feeling of virtual weightlessness with every step. The go anywhere shoe that does it all from work to workout to play. Dressed in the finest ultra lightweight mesh construction for cooling breathability and a lighter than air feel. A durable power grip sole for sure footed comfort and the confidence in any environment, any occasion. Stain and water resistant fabric and a copper infused odor reducing insole with anti fatigue arch support that cradles to your foot for incredible comfort. The minute you walk in zero gravity, you will never feel a more comfortable go anywhere shoe. The feeling of virtual weightlessness with a gravity defying midsole for maximum impact absorption and a high velocity energy return built into an ultra lightweight stylish shoe that wears like a sneaker and does it all from work to workout to play if there's one shoe you'll ever wear this is the one step into a pair now and feel the sensation of zero gravity the most comfortable go anywhere shoe you will ever wear guaranteed or your money back zero 
Gravity shoes are only available exclusively at GetZeroGravity.com. To get yours, go online now or call 1-800-574-1226. Choose from four classic colors and for a limited time, receive 40% off your order. Plus, order right now and your shipping is free. A stylish look with a sneaker feel. Take a walk in zero gravity from Copperfit. Thank <laughs> you.